Hi, and welcome to another video from Skyview TV, where we cover topics relating to drones, aerial photography, and the amazing technology behind it. Today we are going to discuss remote identification of drones, commonly referred to as remote ID. With so much information out there, we will attempt to simplify it, and help new pilots get ready for the changes coming to the industry. Drones or unmanned aircraft systems are fundamentally changing aviation, airspace, and the national airspace system. A decade ago, drones were a hobby that most people didn't take seriously, but today, drones are everywhere, conducting important and even life-saving work, as well as providing a pathway for photographers, cinematographers and creative influencers. Every day, the Federal Aviation Administration provides air traffic service to more than 45,000 flights, and 2.9 million airline passengers, traveling across more than 29 million square miles, that make up the national airspace in the United States. With all this traffic, the FAA is working on a system, that can fully integrate drones into this network of both controlled, and uncontrolled airspace. Governments outside the United States have developed rules to encourage safe, and productive drone flights, while protecting airplanes, helicopters, people, and ground property. The FAA states that a new era of drone regulation is about to take effect in the United States, which is remote identification. According to the FAA's website on the remote identification program, quote, Safety and security are top priorities for the FAA, and remote identification of drones is crucial to our integration efforts. As of the date of this video production, there have been changes to remote ID rules, and dates, which we will cover later in this episode. Please note, that with the rapid development, and implementation of remote ID, we will add relevant changes to the comments section to keep you updated. Whether you agree with it or not, remote ID is here to stay. Use the chapter feature below the video, if you would like to skip to ahead to a different topic. With that said, let's jump right into it. You're watching Skyview TV. Remote ID refers to the ability of a drone in flight, to provide identification, and location information, that can be received by people within signal range. Think of Remote ID as a unique electronic serial number system for drones, allowing authorities to identify who is flying them at any given time. A physical serial number wouldn't be much use on a small airborne drone, so Remote ID sends information via radio signals to ground-based receivers. The hope is that this new method of aerial accountability, will make the skies safer, improve public acceptance of drones, and open new possibilities for drone pilots to routinely fly in ways, that have until now, been restricted for safety and security. The US government has prioritized remote ID development since 2016, when security agencies made clear, they would not support allowing drones to fly more complicated missions, without a way to identify the operator. The FAA worked across the drone industry, to learn about potential solutions to this challenge, and first proposed rules in late 2019, then revised them a year later, based on more than 53,000 comments, from interested people and organizations. The final rules reflect significant input from recreational, and commercial pilots, law enforcement organizations, and drone industry groups. On September 12, 2022, the FAA announced it will be pushing back the remote ID compliance date for drone makers, like DJI and Skydio to December 16, 2022. The FAA is allowing drone manufacturers to have three more months to update their hardware for remote ID broadcasting. According to a statement by the FAA, the federal agency accepted the means of compliance slightly more than a month before the originally announced September 16 date. One of the most common ways by which some drone manufacturers plan to become remote ID ready, is through a simple software update. DJI and Skydio have announced, they will introduce software downloads for compliance with the new remote ID mandate. Additionally, open source drone flight control tech company Autirian, has also said that all drones powered by its software can become remote ID compliant, with a single software update. How does remote ID work? All drones weighing more than 250 grams, will have to broadcast a signal that includes their position, and altitude, as well as their serial number. 
The serial number will be associated with your drone's registration information in the FAA's system, with the goal being, that no personal information will be broadcast by the remote ID function. Instead, authorized officials who obtain the serial number, will be able to look up owner information in the FAA system. This is similar to how authorized agencies can check a vehicle license plate for owner information. The rules say this information must be sent using a radio protocol that can be received by a common handheld receiver, such as a smartphone or tablet device. Most likely, that means drones will send a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi signal that can be received by a smartphone. Older drones that don't have this capability as well as home-built drones, will use an add-on module to send remote ID information. The final version of the remote ID rule does not require drones to connect to a mobile network, pay a monthly subscription fee, or store flight data in a government database, as the original proposal envisioned. Many industry professionals have stated that the FAA's final rule is vastly improved, in terms of cost, burden, and complexity. Remote ID with DJI Drones Operators who already own DJI drones, do not need to do anything right away, because existing drones are not required to comply with the FAA Remote ID regulations, until September 16, 2023. DJI says it will provide firmware updates before that date, to bring some of their modern drones into compliance. However, some older models may require a separate add-on module for Remote ID compliance. At the time of this video, several DJI drones have been approved by the FAA, for adequate compliance, with Remote ID rules. The models are the DJI Mini 3 Pro, Avada, Air 2S, Mavic 3, Matrice M30, and Matrice M30 Thermal. Operators who already own the drones listed above, will be able to comply with Remote ID rules, by downloading a free firmware update from DJI, at a later date. Newly manufactured versions of these drones, will comply with remote ID rules, with no further action required from operators. They will ship with a regulatory label attached to the drone. If you own an older DJI aircraft, keep in mind that DJI is seeking FAA approval for additional drone models, which will be posted on the FAA website, if and when they are approved. All new remote ID approvals from the FAA, come a month after DJI became the first drone manufacturer, to earn the C1 type certificate for drones, under the new European drone regulations. The C1 certificate for the Mavic 3 series, which is applied through a firmware update, gives DJI operators more freedom to fly, in areas that were previously restricted. Remote ID with Skydio Drones Skydio announced all new drones produced after the third week of September, will have remote ID built in, except for the Skydio X2D. These Remote ID compatible drones, will be clearly identified with a special label. The X2D drone is exempt from this rule, because it is used by the Department of Defense. The US drone manufacturer posted in their blog, what the Remote ID rule means, for existing Skydio drones, quote. If you purchased a Skydio drone that was produced prior to September 16, 2022, you are not impacted by this change, and your drone will not broadcast Remote ID information. However, if we repair, or replace your Skydio 2 Plus, or X2E drone, on or after September 16, 2022, the drone you receive back, will have Remote ID built in, regardless of its original manufacture date. Skydio also stated they will determine the best path to Remote ID compliance, before the 2023 deadline and plans to enable compliance through a software update, just like competitor DJI. A recent Skydio press release stated, our customers are our top priority, and we are committed to helping every Skydio pilot understand what's required, to comply with the regulations. In the coming months, we will share more details for customers, with non-remote ID enabled drones, on Skydio's plans to help them meet the operator compliance deadline, before September 2023. Will the compliance date be pushed back again? The FAA has admitted, that other manufacturers may not have sufficient time to adequately design, develop, and test their drones for remote ID broadcast in time. Accordingly, the FAA says it will exercise its discretion, in determining how to handle any apparent non-compliance, including discretion to not take enforcement action, 
if required. The FAA has also acknowledged that there has been a delay on the agency's part, in formalizing the accepted means of compliance, which refers to the hardware methods, by which a drone manufacturer would comply, with the performance-based requirements for remote identification. The American Society for Testing and Materials, has helped the FAA to establish these standards, by seeking input from both drone manufacturers and regulators. What do I have to do? This answer is wholly dependent on which drone you operate, or plan on buying, as of right now. Remember that drone compliance on remote ID is now set for September 2023. As we mentioned earlier, DJI's newest drones are being designed, and built with remote ID requirements in mind. DJI will provide more information about how to comply with the rules, as the mandate gets closer, but in the meantime, just keep an eye on information from drone manufacturers, and the FAA. As we say in a lot of our videos, just make sure you always fly safely and responsibly, following all applicable laws and regulations in your jurisdiction. You can also visit dji.com slash flysafe to review their guidance about staying safe in the air. How do you feel about remote ID? With all this being explained, it seems that most drone industry advocates are happy that there's some sort of guidance that drone manufacturers, individual pilots, and enterprise operations can adhere to, so they can continue to scale in compliance with these newly established laws. With rules to adhere to, we feel that it makes the skies a safer place to fly, and helps continue to usher in a new age of drone operation, with wider acknowledgement, and identification among the public. Are you a drone pilot excited for, or mad about remote ID? Let us know in the comments. If you have made it to the end of this video, we would like to thank you for taking the time to watch. Our goal on the channel, is to help individual creators use their drones in unique, and interesting ways. If you enjoyed this, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps our videos to be exposed to a wider audience. Thanks for watching and we will catch you again soon for the next episode.